Welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing this question here which says an object is projected vertically upwards with a velocity of 15 meters per second from a rooftop of a building which is 20 meters top. Calculate the velocity with which um, it strikes the ground as it falls from, the, from its highest point reached. So this question is simple and straightforward. So the first thing that you can first calculate, if you want to find the velocity, the most important thing that is needed is the time and also to understand the question. So when you read this question, and um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, uh, make sure that you do so. Uh, so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. Uh, click on the subscription button and the notification button so that whatever video that I post should be able to watch. Okay, so let's proceed. So we were talking about this question. I said the first thing that you need to do is to understand the question. So um, the question says an object is projected vertically upwards with a velocity of uh, 15 meters per second. Uh, from the rooftop of the building which is uh, 20 meters tall so in short you have um, you have a building you have a building this side this building is uh, 20 meters tall so the building from there to there this is 20 meters tall then you, pro you you throw an object from this point it goes vertically upwards and it reaches the maximum uh, displacement there or the maximum velocity where uh, or the maximum the, the maximum or the top the highest point it, it can where the velocity is equal to zero then it begins to to fall down from the highest point coming down and then they are, uh, they are asking us to find the velocity at this uh, point which is the final velocity because the initial velocity uh, is this one which we've been given which is a uh, v uh, v naught or you can let me use it let me use you to represent initial velocity so u has been given to be 15 meters per second and then the same from the rooftop of the building which is 20 meters tall calculate the velocity with which it strikes the ground as it falls from its highest point so the velocity at this point will be found by first finding the total time that it would take to reach the ground so okay let me not say we first find the total time but we first have to find the time it will take because we know to say uh, the velocity uh, the velocity the final velocity is given by initial velocity plus acceleration times time and in this case we're using acceleration due to gravity so we can use 10 or 9.81 which is just the same okay depending depending with what you've been taught to use in your i mean at your university so in this case, what we're going to do is this. Uh, remember I said this uh, object, I mean the question says this object has moved, going up and then started coming down. Now, if you look at the velocity at this point, the velocity at this point is equal to the velocity here. So, let me, let me okay, let me uh, say it this way. If something goes to the right, 20 meters and then comes back from the right 20 meters to this point the distance that it has covered is 40 meters but the displacement that it has covered is equal to zero this is um, what i wanted to talk about so this object this um, object that has been thrown uh, that, that has been thrown up uh, when it reaches this point when coming back its displacement x or s is simply just equal to zero so meaning the cover i mean, I mean the the was is the the object would have just covered the distance from there up to down there so to find um to find the time taken for this object to reach down here we're just going to use x uh, going down or to find the total time that this object has taken to reach down we're going to find um i'm just going to find uh, the distance from, I mean, the time it will take from there up to 
uh, this point here. Okay, not really a total time, but let's just find the time it will take uh, from this point up to this point. So this time is simply just um, found by the formula x is equal to, which is the displacement u initial velocity then plus a half acceleration times time. Okay, so the displacement here we're going to put 20 because we're just calculating for the time taken for it to move from this point to this point. Because the reason why I've just taken this last uh, part is because I know that the displacement from there when it goes up and comes back here will still be uh, zero. Okay, so we put uh, 20 this side, then we say 20 is equal to, then the initial velocity has been given to be uh, 15. Yeah, so the initial velocity has been given to be 15. So if you want, if you are taking it from this point, you can say negative 15. If you took uh, up as positive, so you can say negative 15 or just 15. So if we take it from this point, we'll say negative 15, then times t, then plus. Then we have a half. Our acceleration, I'm going to use 10 t squared. So when you solve, uh, I mean, when you simplify this, you're going to have something like uh, 5t squared minus uh, 15t uh, and then minus 20 when the 20 comes on this other side of the equal sign minus 20 is equal to 0 so we can simplify this expression by dividing everything by 5 then you have t squared minus 3t uh, minus um, 5 into 20 that would be 4 is equal to 0 so we solve the quadratic equation so this quadratic equation, it has the product of 4, it has the product of negative 4 rather, and then the sum of negative 3. So if we do that, then we can, um, th th then we can find the factors. So the factors of this quadratic equation are simply just two numbers that we can add to get negative 3, and uh, when we multiply them, we get 4. So these two numbers are simply just um, uh, when you multiply them we get negative 4 these two numbers are simply just negative 4 and uh, 1 so I'm going to replace them there so I have t squared minus uh, I mean plus t minus 4t minus 4 is equal to 0 so when we do the factorization we're going to have t outside and then we have t plus 1 then we have negative 4 then we have t plus 1 is equal to 0. So after doing the factorization properly there, let me just erase this part. So after doing proper factorization, you discover that you're going to have uh, t plus 1 as, one as one of the factors, and then you also have t minus 4. And then this will be equal to 0. So when you equate t plus 1 to 0, then you also equate t minus 4 to 0. The answer here, you have t is equal to negative 1. Then the other one here, t is equal to 4. So time is never ne time is never negative. So this one will automatically be disqualified. So the time it took to move from this point, yeah, the time it took to move from this point up to that point is simply just uh, 4 seconds. So, 4 seconds. So, now, let us calculate the velocity. So, the final velocity it will reach with at this point, which is the ground, simply just to be given by V is equal to U plus A T. So, V is equal to the initial velocity is simply just going to be, uh, the initial velocity is, uh, I mean, has been given to be negative uh, 15. So the initial velocity will be negative 15 plus, and then A is simply just the acceleration, which I'm using to be zero. So we, uh, I mean 10, not zero. I'm using the acceleration of 10, and then the time taken for this, um, uh, for this uh, object to move from this point to this point is simply just uh, 4. So we put 4 there. So the velocity will therefore be equal to negative 15 
So this will be negative 15. Then plus 10 times 4, this will give us 40. So the initial velocity was, uh, I mean, when we, rather the final velocity here, we're finding the final velocity, not initial. So the final velocity when we add this to is simply just going to be 25 uh, meters per second. So this is how you calculate the velocity it will reach with at this point. Okay. So see you in the next uh, tutorial video. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so, so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. And also click the notification button so that you get notified of every video that I'm going to be posting. My name is Hampton. Shalom, shalom.